What an honor it is to be here. Uh, so good to be back. My, my family and friends have been looking forward to this for the last five or six months. I, everyone's been so excited, including me, to be back here. It's good to be back. Thank you. I want to uh, thank all the past inductees for being here tonight, uh, taking time out of their schedules to come back and share this with me. It means a lot. Thank you. I want to thank all the Philly fans here tonight and all of you out there that, that made this possible for me to get voted into the Wall of Fame. Thank you so much. When Mr. Montgomery called and told me that uh, I had been voted in by the fans, of course I was uh, overwhelmed and, and amazed. And then he told me not to worry that the press didn't get to vote on this one, so it made a little more sense. Anyways, again, honestly, thank you fans for everything. Uh, you're the reason this space is so special to me. Thank you. There's so many uh, people to thank here tonight, and I hope I don't leave anybody out. I'm going to make sure I'm brief because these guys want to get off the stage. But uh, first, Debbie Macedo, we love you, wherever you are. You know, you, you put this thing together every year, Somehow you get this cast of characters together to make this work, and uh, thank you so much, David. Good luck. I'm sure all these uh, guys would agree that uh, to be standing here today wouldn't be possible without the support of your family. Um, you know, from the time we start playing this game uh, until the time Lily would rip these jerseys off our backs. My family's been behind me the entire time. So, Mom, Dad, Lisa, and you, Felicity, I can't forget you. Uh, thank you for all the support over the years. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you. <laughs> to all my boys that came here tonight, uh, J. Mike, Nick, Sam, Greg, and Fratz, Ron, and Thorpe, thanks for coming. It means a lot. I want to thank the Philly organization from top to bottom. This truly is one big family here. Uh, they're the reason all this is possible, and uh, I know all of us owe everything to the Phillies and the job they've done here. The ownership, the Montgomery's, the Giles, the Bucks, the Middletons, uh, we may not hear about these guys on a daily basis, but uh, they truly are responsible for all the success that's happened here in the last 100 and whatever years it is. But I want to thank Ed Wade and Pat Gillard for coming together and putting together that 2018. I played for some great managers and coaches from the minor leagues all the way up. Uh, nothing more instrumental in my life than, as the video showed, the uh, late John Vukovic. It took you too soon, but we miss you. We love you. Uh, Vince, Nikki, Brian, the kids, thank you so much for all the support uh, over the years. And thanks for being here tonight. And I played for Terry Francona briefly in 2000. And then uh, the organization decided to make a change. And for four years, I call those the, the calming years. Larry Bowen took over as manager. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, I can't tell you what a relief it is to walk in the clubhouse and know exactly what you're going to get every single day. The definition of Eden Keel. <laughs> and then, of course, they went in the direct opposite direction for the higher Charlie. And the roller goes to emotions. You know, on every pitch, we didn't know what to expect. I played with some great players. Uh, some are here today, Jim Tomei, uh, Bobby Abreu, uh, Scott Rowland, Jimmy Rollins, Ryan Howard, Aaron Rowan is here today. Uh, the guy I enjoyed playing with the most is, is actually still here in the dugout. And I hope that all of you realize how special a player and a man 
Chase Alexander. It may not happen this year, but if he gets back healthy and things turn around, he might even see him smile once or twice a year. <laughs> Two people I want to thank that uh, are more under the radar guys who were terribly instrumental in me as a player, uh, even after I left the Phillies. Uh, Frank Kopenbarger and Jeff Cooper. Uh, Frank's the equipment manager slash traveling secretary. Jeff was the head athletic trainer here for, I guess, 30 years. Uh, these two guys are behind the scenes. The fans don't get to see them, but as players, and I know all these guys know, they make our job a lot easier. And I just want to make sure we recognize them. Thanks, Frankie. I want to thank you for the scout in the world who let me in with open arms after I got off the field. Um, for all you guys out there that are writing the boards and racking up your Marriott points, uh, I just want to thank you for taking me in, uh, into the group. Uh, I couldn't be more appreciative. Uh, one of my best friends and mentor, Dave Hollins, who unfortunately can't be here tonight. Uh, he's like a brother to me, I love him, and uh, I wish he was here, but I understand. And he's been a great help to me, so thank you, Dave. Finally, I came here to Philly as a young kid and wasn't really sure what to expect, what the city would bring. You know, we had our ups and downs, I'm not sure more of which, but uh, it was a fun ride. Um, the only thing that matters to me is when I left, I was on the back of some Clydesdales coming down Broad Street.